गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स आप सबों का बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन इस चैनल में हम लोग बात करेंगे इन्वायरमेंटल और साइंस से जुड़े महत्वपूर्ण प्रश्न दैट विल बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद वेरी माइंडफुल एंड साउंडफुल कॉन्सेप्ट हर उस चीज़ के लिए रिस्क लो जो आपके सपने को सच करने में मदद करे इसी कोटेशन के साथ रिस्क तो लेना पड़ेगा वीडियोज़ तो लेना पड़ेगा शेयर कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए ऑल द बेस्ट पहला प्रश्न आपकी स्क्रीन पर है विद दी रिफरेंस टू द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव रेडिएशन ऑन लिविंग बींग कंसिडर दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट यू नो अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ रेडिएशन रेडियो एक्टिव रेडिएशन ऑन लिविंग बींग्स जस्ट एनालाइज योर सेल्फ गामा रेडिएशन कैन नॉट पेंट्रेट द स्किन बट इफ देयर इफ देयर सोर्सेस इज इन साइड द बॉडी दे कैन कॉज डैमेज ऑफ द बोन्स और लंग्स X-ray can penetrate the skin but cannot pass through the tissues. Which are the correct statement? I think you know about this. This is very simple. Both are incorrect. You know, exposure to any type of ionizing radiation, it may be alpha, beta particles, or gamma rays, or X-ray, can prove harmful or even lethal. Two types of effects are genetic or non-genetic or body damage. In genetic, genes or chromosome get altered. Its effect big. may become visible as a deformation in the offspring children or grandchildren alteration or breaks in the genetic material that is dna deoxyribonucleic acid nucleic acid the molecule containing genetic information is called mutation in non genetic effects the harm is visible immediately in the form of the birth defects burns some type of leukemia miscarriages tumors cancer of one or more organs and fertility problems alpha particle can not penetrate the skin can not penetrate alpha particle can not penetrate the skin but if their sources are inside the body they can cause damage to bones or lungs beta particle can penetrate the skin but cannot damage the tissue beta particle can can penetrate can penetrate the skin but cannot damage the tissue they can cause damage to skin and eyes caught eyes i mean cataract gamma radiation can easily penetrate that's a very dangerous the body and pass through it and cause a damage the cell structure x ray can travel very far and pass through the body's tissues except bones they can damage to the cells so you think about that why we are x raying our bodies is it ओके इज इट डैमेज आवर सेल्स और जस्ट जस्ट गिविंग आ पिक्चर ऑफ आवर बोन्स थिंक अबाउट इट ओके कंसर्ट दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग क्लाइमेट ब्रेक थ्रू सबमिट क्लाइमेट ब्रेक थ्रू सर्विस सबमिट क्लाइमेट ब्रेक थ्रू सबमिट क्लाइमेट ब्रेक थ्रू सबमिट इट इज ए कलोबरेशन बिटवीन दी वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम मिशन पॉसिबल पार्टनरशिप यूनाइटेड नेशन climate champions united kingdom okay many more one of its one of its key importance as campaign is race to zero race to zero is the campaign of black to submit that mobilize supports to move towards the zero carbon recovery for a sustainable future which are the correct about black to submit climate black to submit i think only and only See the right answer. Both statements are correct. Climate breakthrough summit is a collaboration between the World Economic Forum, Mission Possible Partnership, United Nations Climate Championship, United Kingdom. So there are World Economic Forum, Mission Partnership, United Nations Climate for Champions, United Kingdom. Climate breakthrough summit aims to demonstrate the need for the systematic change. to accelerate the global transition to zero carbon economy one of its key campaign is to race to zero race to zero campaign that mobilize the support of 700 cities 20 rich to poor region business stakeholder investor higher education institution to move towards the zero carbon recovery for a sustainable future Maresk, Maresk, the world's largest container shipping line and vessels operator, joined the Race to Zero 
with the commitment to having halving half half the emission by 2030 as much any as much as many as 40 healthcare institution worldwide have committed to half half halving emission by 2030 and reaching net zero by 2050 these 40 institutions represent more than 3000 healthcare facilities in the 18 countries consider the following statement regarding climate and clean air coalition climate and clean air coalition the coalition's objective are to address short life climate pollutants by raising awareness about them is it short life climate pollutants black carbon methane tropospheric ozone are the short life climate pollutant india is not a member of clean air coalition climate clean air coalition ka part nahi hai bharat so the correct i think you know about that black carbon methane no ozone other not i think it's a very tricky question one and two is the right answer climate clean air coalition to reduce short life climate pollutants c a c c a c was launched by the united nation environment program by unep oh and six countries bangladesh canada ghana mexico sweden and united states coalition's objective are to address the short life climate pollutants by raising awareness of short life climate pollutants its impact mitigation strategies enhancing and developing new national and regional actions including by identifying and overcoming barriers enhancing capacity mobilizing supports promoting best practices and showcasing successful efforts improving scientific understanding of short life climate pollutants impact the mitigation strategy short life climate pollutants are the agent that have relatively short life time in the atmosphere a few days to the few decades few days to few decades and a warming influence on climate the main short life climate pollutants are black carbon methane tropospheric ozone which are the most important contributors to the human enhancement of the global greenhouse gas effect after the co2 india jointly india formally joined the climate and clean air in 2019 it furthers india's commitment to combat air pollution with solution oriented approach consider the following statement regarding carbon sequestration carbon sequestration carbon sequestration is a long term removal of or capture of the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere iron fertilization is a sequestration process to remove carbon from terrestrial area bamboo forest sequesters carbon at much faster rate than the mature forest which are the correct carbon sequestration okay i think this is the very simple but one and three is the right answer because you know about that iron fertilization is a sequestration process can remove the carbon from terrestrial areas no it's not from terrestrial areas carbon sequestration is a long term let's see what is the correct it's a long term long term removal capture or sequestration of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to slow or reverse atmospheric carbon dioxide pollution and to mitigate ya fir reverse climate change carbon dioxide is naturally captured from the atmosphere naturally captured from atmosphere through the biological chemical physical process this change can be accelerated through the changes in the land use agriculture practices such as converting crop and livestock grazing land into the 
for non crop fast growing plants non crop fast growing plants artificial process have been devised to produce similar effects including large scale artificial capture and sequestration of industry produced co2 using surface saline aquifers reservoirs ocean water aging oil fields other carbon sink bioenergy with carbon capture storage biochar ocean fertilization enhanced weathering and and direct capture when combined with storage ocean iron fertilization is a example of geo engineering technique used to sequester co2 in the ocean co2 in the ocean iron fertilization attempts to encourage phytoplankton growth which removes carbon from the atmosphere for at least a period of time natural iron fertilization events i mean deposition of iron rich dust in the ocean waters can enhance the carbon sequestration sequestration sperm whales act as agents of iron fertilization when they transport the iron from the deep ocean to the surface during prey consumption and diffusion although a bamboo forest store less total carbon than a mature forest of a trees a bamboo plantation sequester carbon at much faster rate than the mature forest or tree plantation although a bamboo forest store less carbon store than a mature forest a bamboo plantation sequester carbon at much faster rate than the mature forest or a, or a tree plantation therefore the farming of the bamboo timber may have a significant carbon sequestration potential which of the following rating system for the green building in india are developed by the bureau of energy efficiency b double e green building india india green building council griha rating energy saving building code eco nivas which rating system are developed by b double e it's a one and only three or four rating system for green building rating system for green building in india the indian green building council igbc was formed by the Cons confederation of india industry cii igbc is a india's primary body for green building certification igbc is a india's primary body for green building certification and related services griha green rating for integrated habitat assessment griha green rating for integrated habitat assistant assessment sorry assessment is a rating system evolved by the energy and resources institute tari energy conservation building code ecbc was launched by 2007 by the bureau of energy efficiency ministry of power main objective is to establish the minimum requirement for the energy efficient design and construction of building eco nivas portal energy conservation new india ways for affordable and sustainable homes was launched by the government to increase awareness about the sustainable building and energy efficient homes in country it is developed by bwe Answer the following statements: Carbon offsetting offers refers refers carbon offsetting refers to the total emission of greenhouse emission over a period of time by any individual group or organization. Refers to the total emission of greenhouse gas emission over a period of time by an individual group or organization. Carbon offset are measured. in terms of carbon dioxide equivalent carbon offsets are measured in terms of carbon dioxide equivalent which are the correct yes only only b is the right answer carbon offset is a reduction in the emission of carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases made in order to compensate 
it's a reduction in emission of carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases made in order to compensate for emission made elsewhere. Offsets are measured in tons of carbon dioxide equivalent one that one ton of the carbon offset requirement represent the reduction of one ton of the carbon dioxide one ton carbon offset that mean one reduction of one ton of carbon dioxide that is equivalent to the other greenhouse gases carbon offset represent multiple categories of greenhouse gases including carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide PFCs, hydrofluorocarbons, sulfur hexafluoride. Emission reduction projects reduce the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. One of the three ways. How can you how can how can you reduce? That's uh, by capturing and destroying the greenhouse gas that would otherwise be emitted into the atmosphere. An example of that this methane gas capture project at the landfill by producing energy using a clean renewable resources that eliminates the need of, to produce the same energy from fossil fuels the burning of which releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere an example of this is a wind power by capturing and storing by sequestering greenhouse gases to prevent their their release into the atmosphere an example of this project that promotes the healthy and growth and maintenance of the maintenance of the forest consider the following statement regarding red red r e w d plus red plus it is red plus is a mechanism developed by the parties to the united nations framework convention on the climate change in c it creates financial value for the carbon store in the forest by offering incentivize for developing countries to reduce the emission for from forest lands it is legally binding on the united nations members countries absolutely i think is a incorrect rate plus r e w d plus that means reducing emission from deforestation and forest degradation from deforestation deforestation and forest degradation rate plus is a voluntarily it's a voluntary climate change mitigation approach that has been developed by the parties to the united nations climate convention on climate change it creates a financial value for the carbon store it's create a financial value for a carbon store in forest by offering incentivize for the developing countries to reduce emission from forested lands yeah invest in the low carbon paths to sustainable development Developing countries would receive result best payments from result best actions. Uh, RE double D plus rate plus goes beyond simply deforestation and forest degradation and includes the role of conservation, sustainable management of forest, enhancement of the forest carbon stocks. Consider the following statement regarding intergovernmental planet panel on climate change IPCC. Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is an international non-profit organization. It has it has observer stated in United Nations. IPCC assessment provides a scientific basis for a government's all levels to develop climate related policy. IPCC assessments provide a scientific basis for governments at all levels to develop climate related policy which are the correct i think it's a not a should be in the part of two because c is the right answer only three intergovernmental panel on climate change ipcc is an intergovernmental body of the united nation it was set up in 1988 by the world meteorological organization WMO and United Nations Environment Program. It is a dedicated. It is a dedicated to providing the world with the objective, scientific information relevant to the understanding the scientific basis of the risk of the human-induced climate change, its natural, political, economic impacts, and risk, and possible response options.
IPCC assessment provide a scientific basis for the governments at all levels to develop climate related policy and they underlie the negotiation at the UN climate conference, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC. IPCC reports cover of a scientific, technical, socioeconomic information relevant to the understanding the scientific basis of risk, human induced climate changes, it, uh, its potential impact, and the options for adoption and mitigation. Which of the following statements is correct about Barbados program of action? Barbados is a Bar Barbados program of action. I think. Uh, only B is the right answer. It is a policy. Barbar Barbaros, Barbados program of action is the policy document which addresses the economic, environmental, and social development vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities faced by small island developing states. United Nations program of action on sustainable development of a small island developing state popularly referred as a Barbados program of action B, BPOA is a policy document that both comprehensively address the economic, environmental, social development, developmental vulnerabilities facing islands and the outline a strategy that seeks to mitigate those vulnerabilities. The Barbados program of action BPOA was established by United Nations General Assembly in 1994 to reform the principle and the commitments to a sustainable development with respect to SCEs. The conference adopted the Barbados Declaration, a statement of political will underpinning the commitments contained in the BPOA. It remains the only internationally approved program specific to small island developing state seeds, which has been collectively and unanimously endorsed by seeds. Consider the following statement regarding climate forcing. Climate forcing is the difference says, between the rate of energy received by the absorption of solar radiation and the rate of energy emitted by the tops of the earth atmosphere. This is the difference between the rate of energy received by absorption of the solar radiation and the rate of energy emitted by the top of the earth's atmosphere. Positive climate forcing cools the earth while negative climate forcing warm it. Which is the correct? I think it's only and only A is the right answer. Because climate forcing is a physical process of affecting the climate on the earth through a number of forcing factors. Let's see. These factors are specifically known as a forcing because they derive they derive the climate changes and it's important to note here that this forcing exists outside of the existing climate system. Example of some of the most important types of forcing include variation in solar radiation levels, volcanic eruption, changing albedo, changing levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. These are the driving forces. This is the Force forcing include variation in the solar radiation levels, volcanic eruption, changing albedo, changing level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Climate forcing is the difference between the rate of energy received by the absorption of the solar radiation, that means insulation, and the rate of energy that is emitted by the top of the Earth's atmosphere, expressed in watts per square meter. There are two main types of forcing that exist, positive forcing and negative forcing. Positive forcing warms the earth, while negative cools it. Greenhouse gases are the major contribution to the forcing effect. Yes, of course, because it's a positive effect, most notably carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrogen dioxide. Consider the following statement. Geoengineering is a deliberate, large-scale intervention carried out in the Earth's atmosphere, Earth's natural system, to reverse the impact of the climate change. Solar geoengineering aims to reduce the albedo of the Earth surface into in order to mitigate the effect of the global warming. Cirrus clouds thinning is a method 
of geoengineering which aims to reduce the heat trapping capacity of these clouds which are the correct only and only one and three yes geoengineering is a deliberate large scale intervention carried out in earth natural system to reverse the impact of the climate change this involves techniques to physically manipulate the global climate and cool the planet. The main category of the climate engineering are the solar geoengineering and the carbon dioxide removal. Solar geoengineering would effect, uh, sorry, deflect sunlight. Solar geoengineering would deflect sunlight away from the earth or by increasing the reflective albedo of the atmosphere or the surface, earth surface. These matters are suitable for climate change mitigation because they would not reduce greenhouse gas concentration in the atmosphere and thus would not address the ocean acidification caused by the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide removal refers to removing the carbon dioxide gases from the atmosphere and sequestering, sequestering it for a long period of time. Solar geoengineering methods include strato-specific aerosol injection, and these small particles would be injected into the upper atmosphere. Marine clouding, marine cloud brightening, which would spray fine sea water within the clouds and thus increase the cloud reflectivity. Serious cloud thinning, which would reduce their heat capa trapping capacity, but resulting in the cooling effects on the Earth's climate. This could be a potential tool to reduce the anthropogenic ozonic global warming consider the following statements blue carbon refers to the carbon capture by plants soil mangrove seagrass so blue carbon the international blue carbon initiative is a coordinated global warming program of IUCN which focuses on mitigating the climate change I think it's a very easy B is the right answer. You know about that blue carbon. Blue carbon is carbon that is stored in coastal and marine ecosystem. The blue carbon initiative currently focuses on carbon in coastal ecosystem. Currently focuses on carbon in the coastal ecosystem. Mangrove, tidal, marshes, sea grasses. This ecosystem sequester and store the large quantities of the blue carbon. And both the plants and the sediment below. For example, over 95% of the carbon in seagrass meadows is stored in the soil. International Blue Carbon Initiative, Conservation of International CI, International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, and the International Oceanic Commission, IOC, of the UNESCO, has collaborated. IUCN and IOC collaborate. With the government and the organization across the world to develop the mechanism for ensuring the coastal blue carbon ecosystem. So ensuring coastal water, coastal blue carbon ecosystem. The blue carbon initiative focuses on mangrove, salt marshes, sea grasses, which are found on every continent except Antarctica. Except Antarctica. Coastal ecosystems accumulate large amount of carbon. Five times more than forest. Five times more than more than forest. Green carbon is the carbon removed through the process of photosynthesis. This is the photosynthesis process where which the carbon is stored. Okay, carbon removed from the atmosphere is stored in the plant and soil. It's a green carbon. Answer the following statement regarding regarding leaf coalition. L E A F leaf coalition. Leaf coalition is a collective of the government of the USA, United Kingdom, Norway. Leaf coalition is a public private effort to protect Antarctica region. Which are the correct? I think the only and only A is the right because lowering emission by accelerating forest finance. Lowering emission by accelerating forest finance. A collective of the United States, United Kingdom, and Norway governments. It is an initiative, a step towards 
concreting con concretizing concretizing the aims and objective of reducing emission from deforestation and forest degradation rate plus mechanism it is a initiative in a in a, is a step towards towards rate plus mechanism it intends to mobilize at least 1 billion us dollar in financing to the countries committed to protecting their tropical forest tropical forests around the world are under threat the world lost more than 10 million hectares of primary tropical forest over last years one crore hectare of primary tropical forest lost last year an area roughly the size of Switzerland. think about it Ending tropical and subtropical forest loss by 2030 is a crucial part of the meeting to global climate, biodiversity and SDG goals. Protecting tropical forest offers one of the biggest opportunity for the climate action in coming decade. Leave coalition can help reverse the trend by providing unprecedented financial support to the tropical forest governments implementing forest protection, contributing the green and resilient growth through the sustainable investment. Leave Coalition empowers tropical and subtropical forest countries to move more rapidly towards ending deforestation while supporting them in achieving their nationally determined contribution INDC under the Paris Agreement. With reference to the leisure ecosystem, Consider the following statement: User ecosystem. Le user ecosystem is among the most ancient and life-rich ecosystem and a hot spot of biodiversity. It is located in the equatorial region of Africa. User ecosystem. It has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the danger. Which are the correct? I think it's uh, only and only C one and three. It was user ecosystem. Liu Li user. Li user ecosystem is an area of the forest located in the province of the North Sumatra on the island of Sumatra. That means Indonesia. The ecosystem stretches from the coast of the Indian Ocean to the Malacca State. Covering more than 2.6 million hectares, it is one of the richest expense of the tropical rainforest in the Southeast Asia and it is the last place on the earth where the Sumatran elephant, rhino, tiger or orangutan are found within one area. It is one of the world's richest at least none forest system and its vegetation is an important source of the earth's oxygen. There are at least 130 species of the mammals within the ecosystem which means that one of one in 32 of the world's mammal are found there one quarter of the indonesia's mammals primates residing within the ecosystem include white-handed gibbon white-handed gibbon simang macaws la loris and lut lut lutung lutung Loser is a loser is a home to as much as seven species of cats, including clouded leopard, Asian golden cat, and spotted linsang. The sun bear is a quite common sun bear is a quite common within the boundaries of the ecosystem. The primary threat to this unique ecosystem is illegal palm oil expansion as the global demand for the palm oil rises oil palm growers seek to multiply the acreage of this valuable crop consequently loser ecosystem has been designated as a unesco world heritage site in danger which of the following is correct regarding the asian wild asian wild buffalo asian wild buffalo a buffalo it is currently endemic to india only it is commonly found in the wet grassland swamp flood plains and densely vegetated rivers valleys 
this species is included in the species recovery program for the critically endangered species in India, Asian wild buffalo. Which are the correct? I think it's a very two and three is the right answer. Asian wild buffalo, also known as wild butter buffalo. It's a wild buffer, uh, water buffalo, buffalo. Occurs in India, Nepal, Bhutan, Thailand, Cambodia. Yeah. It is associated with the wet grasslands, swamp, flood plains, densely vegetated rivers, valley. In India, it is largely restricted to the India around the Kajiranga, Manas, Ribu Sekawar National Park, Lakhova Wildlife Sanctuary, and Buda Chapori Wildlife Sanctuary, and few steps provided in Assam around the E Ring Memorial Wildlife Sanctuary in Arunachal Pradesh, E Ring Wildlife Memorial Sanctuary, Arunachal Pradesh. A small population survive in the Balfakram National Park in Meghalaya and in Chhattisgarh in Indravati National Park and Udanti Wildlife Sanctuary was also in Chhattisgarh in Indravati National Park and Udanti Wildlife Sanctuary. The estimated population of the wild buffalo is in northeast is around 3,000 to 4,000 that the largest in the country and accounting for 92% of the world's population. A population reduction by at least 50% back uh, last year, last three generation, last three generations seems likely given the severity of the threats, especially by hybridization. This population trend is projected to continue in, into the future. Its most important threats are interbreeding with the feral and domestic water buffaloes in the around protected areas, hunting, especially in the Thailand, Cambodia, Myanmar, habitat loss of the flood plain areas due to the conversion of agriculture and hydro power plants development, degradation of wetlands due to the invasive species such as stemmed twiners, lianas, disease and parasites transmitted by domestic livestock, interspecific and competition for food and water between wild water buffaloes and livestock conservation. It is listed under the Wildlife Protection Act 1971, Schedule 1. It is classified as an endangered in IOCN Red List. So certain species, it is included in the site's appendix 3rd. It is legally protected in Bhutan, India, Nepal, Thailand. It is included in the Species Recovery Program for Critically Endangered Species in India. 